Welcome to today's episode of AJY. Bam! Coming to you from the Duelist Pub with a whole bunch of stuff. So, Ghost, Genesis, Phantom Rage. We got 14 and 15 of the OTS. We are missing... We are missing one more set. So we got a Blazing Vortex. Now we got a little bit of everything. We got Phantom, then Genesis, and Blazing, and this, and those were during, you know, these. Blam. We got a little bit of everything today. Okay. Here we go. We will start out in order. So we'll go ahead and we'll open up the 14s. And then we'll open these. Then we'll hit up this. And then we'll open up those. Sounds like a plan. Starting out with OTS, huh? Okay. In the name of Yugi, Kaiba, and the heart of the cards. Bless all these beautiful packs. Man, this is a great, beautiful opening. Oh my god, it looks gorgeous. Can we pull an ulti? Is it possible? I know we've got a Void Ogre Dragon that uh, just won't center. Wow, what are you... What are you doing here? Come on. There we go. Raid Raptor and Super Quantum Red Layer. All right, now, Phantom Knights. That's cool. Gotta have the rank up, Evil Thorn. Infernity General. All right, our last uh, 14 here. Really, 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 really want to pull an ulti out of 2000, uh, 2014. I really want to pull an ulti out of OTS 14, but I don't think it's going to happen today. Ancient Cloak, Shein Spy, and, well, hey, at least we got a token. I do love tokens, so. Dual Avatar, Spirit Token. All right, that's cool. Let's go to our Phantom Rage. Phantom Rage has always been pretty nice to us. Giving us uh, Starlights, Torn Scales times two. Uh, Mutinous Duel. Ooh, a Dogmatica. So out of one singular, one pack, we pull a Ultra Rare. It's pretty cool. Take that, take that. Let's go ahead and just put that down there. Genesis Impact. Can we pull an Ultra out of this? That would be pretty incredible. Delta. Phoenix. Bottomless, Eclipse, Herald of Ultimateness, Born of Draconids, and a Nanaruru, a Glass Goddess. Alright, Blazing. Blazing Vortex. Also, Blazing has been pretty amazing to us as well. Not the greatest set, but it's got a couple good cards in it. Ooh, we got a Gravitino. I don't know how we managed to pull a Ultra Rare out of single packs. That's pretty damn good. I'll take that. Um, it's pretty cool. All right, Ghosts. Ghosts from the Possessed. Ghosts from the Past. Bam. I would have loved to pull this Ghost. I know everybody's all hyped, you know, oh, I want Dark Magic, oh, I want, oh, I really want a Ghost Rare Blue Eyes Alternative, man. When they told me that that was going to be in there, I'm like, that's the ghost I want. Literally, that would be the ghost that I want. Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. Okay, here we go. We've got our beautiful, beautiful Ghost from the Past set, or Ghost from the Trash, as everybody's been calling it. But you know what? Like I said, it's... Pretty good amount of cards in here I want, which here's one of them. Update Jammer. Man, that's cool. Can I get a Splash Mage today, too? That would be awesome. Update Jammer. Heizo Ranyu. Cosmol Dark Lady. Salvage. Target two water monsters. 15 or less in your graveyard. Add those targets to your hand. And a Dragoonity Whirlwind. Alright, well, I got one. I got an Update Jammer. Right out of the first pack, so I'm already happy. All right. All right, all right, all right. Time Thief Bezel Ship. Time Thief Retrogade. Sun Avalon Dryads. Dragoonity. And a Mega Monarch. 
Mega Monarch. What is this? You can tribute this card by tributing one tribute summon monster. If this card is tribute summoned, look at your opponent's hand and discord discard. Uh, join the discord. Uh, discard one card from their hand. Then, if it was a monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original level times 200. If this card was tribute summoned by a fire monster, it also gets to inflict a thousand points of damage after that. Oh, okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright. Last pack of ghosts from the pack. Ghosts from the last pack. Heretic Dragon of Aset. Metal Pose Fusion, Mask Change, Madolce Fresh to Start, and Starry Night Ceremony. So, we, it's our first time pulling this card. And you can, wait a minute, during your main phase, you can reveal one Light Fairy Monster in your hand. And if you do, add one level 7 Light Dragon Monster from your deck to your hand. Then place that revealed monster on the bottom of your deck. If your opponent activates a card or effect, you can special summon one level seven light dragon monster from your hand huh okay all right well um happy to get the uh mask change now i got three of them i don't even think you play three at least they got update jammer that one i'm pretty happy about update jammer um i think that's like the only one in here where i'm like oh man i pulled it yep only update jammer all right well it is what it is now we've got this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move our backs to the side here. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll take these, then we'll take these. Nice little pile. All right, down to you guys. Now, we're gonna roll the dice here because we got five packs, so. If we roll a six, we'll re-roll. But otherwise, one, two, three, four, five. Four it is, and it even landed on it. So that's supposed to be the glorious winning pack. Let's go ahead and open up these now. Come on, ulti, 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 ulti. We're looking for an ulti. Arm dragon level five. Amorphous and a Shadow dragon. I guess I can take that lock off so I can finally zoom in on these. Shadow Dragon. Beautiful looking card. Alright, next. Next, next, next. We got Rank Up, the seventh one, Vampire's Domain, and Crossover. Okay. Come on now. I know you're somewhere. I know there's an ulti somewhere. Is it here? Is it here? Captain Roland. Okay. Alright, alright. Come on now. If that dice really picked the one and all two, that'd be amazing. But, Shadow Vampire. Oh my god. Dark Requiem XC. We pulled another ulti, and it's the last time. Literally, I pull a Starlight, it's Torn Scales. I pull another Starlight, it's Torn Scales. I pull my first ulti at OTS, it's Dark Requiem. I pull another ulti, it's Dark Requiem. Man, they love giving me those good old, um... Oh, man, that's gorgeous. God, man, that's gorgeous. Man, oh man, alive. Here we go. Come on, Dice, what were you holding from me? What were you holding? Griffin Wing, and Proxy F Magician. So the dice really likes Cyverse Link Monsters. I get that, you know, access code is a thing. But so is Dark Requiem XC Dragon. Man, if this card has uh, Dark Rebellion XC Dragon as a material, it gains these effects. Once per turn, you can detach material from this card, then target one face that monster your opponent controls, which changes its attack to zero. And if you do, this card gains the attack that that monster lost. So, if you target a monster with 3,000 attack, it goes to zero. You're going to end up at 6,000. Also, it has a secondary effect. When your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can detach material from this card and negate that activation. If you do, destroy that card. Then you can special summon one XC monster from your graveyard. Pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. 
Damn, son, pretty incredible. We did it. Sorry, I was just, I'm pretty happy about that. Maybe I can trade this away for an ulti from OTS 14. I'm looking at you, Zavala. We'll find out. What? I'm out of here, man. This was incredible. Very happy. Whew. Like, comment, subscribe, Discord. Uh, join the Discord. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. And this is a pointer finger. Pew, pew. Gotta go. Peace out.